Greetings, real estate fans. This is Deb Dawkins of Caldwell Banker Realty. I'm speaking to you from the side of a road uh, in Delaware on my way home following the second day of the Maryland Realtors Convention. And it was a day full of information and inspiration. Our keynote speaker was Ryan Seert who is a celebrity real estate broker, and his company has, in the last 12 years, sold between 8 and $10 billion worth of residential property. His motto? No quitting. He told us, and this was my takeaway in particular from his speech, that their jobs are dead, but goals are alive. In the morning, I had a continuing education session with a mortgage broker who specializes in assisting divorcing couples with their financing issues. And she had some tips for us real estate agents in assisting these couples in the sale of their real property. In the afternoon, I had a session on real estate professionalism and conflict resolution. I think the two things bookended each other very nicely. We are the lubrication in the transaction, not the sand in the gears. And, uh, for instance, with that divorcing couple are in an acrimonious separation, it might do best for us to have a listing partner to help smooth things out for the transaction between the two two members of the parting that are parting ways um, because our job is to be the lubrication not the sand in the gears the same thing with our inner reactions with our fellow realtors uh, now we're guided by the realtor code of ethics which enjoins us to put the interests of our clients first for for true professionalism we need to combine these things of not just the ethics, but combine those with a positive and respectful attitude and to be a dependable member of our transaction team. Our job is to relieve our clients of the stress of the confrontation either with each other or with other parties in the transaction. And it requires a very special skill set. Under all is the land, and upon its wise utilization and widely allocated ownership depend the survival and growth of free institutions and of our civilization.